Iran's secret Bitcoin weapon, how sanctions are fueling a crypto empire. Hey everyone, welcome back to BitSpools. It's your boy Andrew back with another spicy scoop of crypto news. Today, we're diving into the juicy intersection of geopolitics sanctions and the ever-evolving world of Bitcoin mining. And trust me, it's a wild ride. So, the Middle East is heating up again, folks. Iran and Israel are at each other's throats, and it's all about the missiles and drones. It's like a scene straight out of a Hollywood action flick, but this time, it's real. This isn't the first time Iran has tried to rain down missiles on Israel. They already fired hundreds of them in April. This time, they're going for the record with 200 missiles, which is a lot even for them. Luckily, Israel's Iron Dome defense system is on the case. And they're not letting any of those rockets get through. Now, this whole conflict stems from Israel taking out Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. And the U.S. is standing by Israel, but just throwing sanctions on Iran. We know how those go. Just remember, in 2018, the U.S. imposed sanctions on Iran over their nuclear program, which basically choked the Iranian economy and forced their oil exports to crash. But here's the twist. Iran is using this whole mess to its advantage. They're turning to Bitcoin mining, which is a sneaky way to bypass sanctions and rake in some digital dough. It's like a modern-day version of smuggling, but with lasers and computer code. Now, here's the thing. Bitcoin mining needs tons of energy, just like a power-hungry teenager on an all-night gaming binge. Iran being the energy powerhouse it is, has plenty to spare. It's basically oil for Bitcoin. And get this, experts say Iran controls about 4.5% of the Bitcoin mining network. That's a lot of digital cash flowing into their coffers, and it's coming in handy for buying stuff they can't get through normal channels. It's almost like Iran is making a new economic policy out of this whole thing. Speaking of Bitcoin, have you checked out the Bytunix cryptocurrency exchange? Get a welcome bonus of up to $5,500 for newcomers. Click the link in the video description to get started. Now, here's where China comes into play. They're the big players in Bitcoin mining, and they've been pouring money into Iran's mining scene. Back in 2019, Iran even made Bitcoin mining legal, but with a twist. You gotta get a license and pay extra for electricity. It's like a big digital energy hogging party with a hefty cover charge. And then you have some miners who are using free electricity from mosques to power their Bitcoin mining operations. Like they're getting divine inspiration. For their digital wealth, these Chinese firms have even set up mining facilities in Iran, and some of them are suspected to be linked to the Iranian military. It's a bit of a clandestine affair, but there's evidence of large-scale mining operations in the Rafsanjan Special Economic Zone. This whole Bitcoin mining spree is turning Iran into a digital energy behemoth. We're talking about 600 megawatts of electricity being consumed, which is equivalent to 10 million barrels of crude oil each year. That's roughly 4% of Iran's total oil exports in 2020. It's like they're exporting their energy through Bitcoin instead of oil. All this Bitcoin mining is making financial institutions nervous. They're freaking out because there's a 4.5% chance that any Bitcoin transaction you make involves fees paid to Iran. That's a big fat sanction risk for these financial institutions. They don't want to be caught dealing with Iranian money. The US is thinking about getting back into the Iran nuclear deal, and this Bitcoin mining thing could become a big point of contention. And financial institutions are scrambling to find solutions to manage the sanctions risks of Iranian Bitcoin mining. Some blockchain analytics tools can be used to identify and prevent deposits from Iranian entities. It's like having a digital detective on the case, sniffing out any suspicious Iranian transactions. Now, let's talk about how all of this affects the price of Bitcoin. When Iran launched those missiles at Israel, Bitcoin took a nosedive. It plummeted from $64,000 to $60,315, and traders started getting liquidated. It's the classic flight to safety scenario. When things get hairy, investors ditch risky assets like Bitcoin and run for cover in gold and oil. But don't worry, Bitcoin recovered slightly. It bounced back to $61,800, but this whole Iran-Israel conflict could send it lower. The takeaway here is that blockchain technology is making waves in international finance. It's giving countries like Iran ways to circumvent sanctions and find new sources of revenue. And it's creating a whole new set of challenges for financial institutions and the crypto world. So folks, stay tuned for more crypto drama. It's a volatile world out there, and things are constantly changing. It's a wild ride, but that's why we're here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button to show your support. I'll catch you in the next one.